I just feel like I want to hear from, I'm going to open it all to you after just three questions. I feel like I, I want to hear from Edith first. I feel like you have so much wisdom uh, with the Jewish tradition you came from, the Baptist tradition you came from, your life as a mother and as an artist, your grief over your nephew. Um, can you give us some guidance on going forward in this time, dealing with um, police officers shooting African Americans, dealing with all the issues I don't have to name that we're facing now? Well, use the mic. Oh, that's right. I used it. First, I want to say thank you, and I'm honored to be here today. Today, is today, today, or tonight? Anyway, um, I think the camera is on. Can you hear me? Yeah, okay. Um, I'm honored to be here, and I, um, this is about the fourth or fifth time that the movie has been shown and I was present. And um, to answer your question, I am thinking that maybe we all need to get involved a little bit more. And the most important thing, I think that a way to do it is to meet someone or be a friend to someone of another nationality and have them come to your house, have them meet your family. And that's what Mo and I did. She met my family and I met her family. And that made a difference because we got to know each other on a different level on how we relate to each other's family. Um, and to really be a friend and be there for a person of another nationality. That's a start. That way you can learn a lot of things that you would not know or even envision that goes on in different cultures. So that has been my goal um, for a long time. I know a lot of people of different cultures that have even just came to this country. Um, I have made friends uh, with people who are different from me. And it has made me understand life a little better. That's really wonderful. I really like that. I'm feeling like, yeah, if I can just do one one new thing every week, maybe, just that I need to do more. Um, Mo, I, as I understand, you're a relatively new filmmaker. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say about where you're going since making this film, what you hope the film will accomplish, and how the film changed you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. I really appreciate um, you all coming out. And I did, just before that, want to recognize a couple people in the room that are essential. I am a new filmmaker. It's my first feature film. I couldn't have done it without an extraordinary team. And we're fortunate today to have the cinematographer, Peggy Peralta, in the audience. And she's back there somewhere. Can you stand up, Peggy? I can't see you, but hopefully others can. And Maureen Gosling is the editor, and she's standing right here. And so you can see uh, executive director, um, executive producer Jed Reif is not here today, but all of them and everybody else that was part of this, Edith as through our collaboration, and everybody really had a hand in creating the, uh, creating the magic and the artistry and the the through line of the story. And it, you know, you, you always come back to what inspires you in the first place. And of course, you may not know, I knew Edith for 10 years before we decided to make the film. And that was because she was the art teacher for my children throughout elementary school. But, you know, I saw something in her as a bridge builder. I had a background as a mediator. And so what really, and as an immigration lawyer, that was what I came to filmmaking with. So as a as a start, as a spark, it was really getting to know another person on a much deeper level and realizing that we are treated differently in our culture. I mean, knowing that all through my life, you know, I'm Jewish and that had been part of my growing up experience, but not really knowing it, not feeling it deeply, not feeling the pain, not feeling the choices that I had to recognize my own white privilege and then go from there. And so, um, you know, that's where I hope the film can kind of take us. We did make some conscious choices in the film. There were many directions we could go. As you see, there were several narratives about the, the mural she was making 
about her personal life, and then about current conditions and um, racial justice in particular, and that's really what was going on. And, and as it happens, that in some guise, in some form, was what inspired me to make the film, because I realized on a deeper level how differently people are treated in this country and around the world. And so that was a conscious choice to, to direct the film to really highlight that thread, that through line. It wasn't always present because we didn't know the Black Lives Matter movement was going to become so prominent. We certainly didn't know her nephew was going to be killed in Staten Island. And that did happen after we had edited the film, but we decided to go back and shoot some more and include that through line in the story with Edith's permission. And it, it was painful for her. It's still painful, obviously. And it's the two-year anniversary, but she has seen the film a number of times, and today she she made me aware that she was going to step out during that part because it, it's it's personal, you know. And I, I, I guess my hope is that seeing this film, taking it with you, creating that empathy, getting to know another person for at least 56 minutes can, can help us all um, make it personal, feel the pain, feel the outrage, feel the, the sense of needing to make change. And so... Um, you know, we've created a take action list that we hope you'll take with you. It's two pages, so there'll be two pages circulating, or at least as you walk out the door, my assistant, Kojin Glick, will be at the door handing you out another piece of paper. So those are some ways you can get involved. And then to turn it over to you for a question to Allison, I think she'll have some really important things to say about how to carry it forward. Thank you. Yes, that's what I was going to say. Allison Elgar from Equal Justice Society. I understand your, I know your organization has some interesting tools I would like to hear about that we can take with us. Sure, and thank you for having me here. Um, it's an honor to meet both of you, too. Um, I got to see the film before meeting either one of you, so um, it's an honor to, to be here with you. Um, you know, and what you've both said actually makes me think a lot of, you know, MLK had this idea. with implicit bias, it's really about the unconscious attitudes and beliefs that we all have um, about people who are in a group other than ourselves. So it could be about someone's race or gender or sexual orientation or religion. Um, and so we have to really address our own biases that we're not, and that's hard to do when we're not always aware of them, but we all have them and we all need to sort of come to terms with that fact, first of all, you know, be aware that we all have these biases Building the bridges and getting to know other people is one way to actually get past them um, and help overcome them. Um, and there are ways, um, you know, we also view the arts as part of that because the arts, you know, making a, seeing a film like this, seeing a film like The Arts of Justice is a way that touches people's hearts and that then hopefully motivates them um, to do something about it. So art is a way to reach people in a way that, you know, we do litigation as well, but. A lot of people don't know anything about that aspect of what we do. So if you see a film or if you're if you honor an artist or maybe work with Mark and Shelby, who's a very well-known judge in the Bay Area, he can put out DVDs and put out music um, inspired by social justice issues. Um, and then he worked with Joanna Haygood, who's an active dance shooter also in the Bay Area, and then they brought their Dying All Black and Brown, which is about the death penalty. So it's a way to really touch 
That's wonderful. I'd love to open it up to the audience now. So if we can get our, give up some of our mics. Okay, we'll share and uh, love to hear what kind of questions you have for anybody. Or even provocative comments that provoke us. Or provoke our wonderful guests to say something. So let's see. Okay, there's someone with a question. I can't even see anybody out there because of the light. Um, yes, I am. And I, though I'm 78 years old, I just got another job for this winter in the school. So, yes. Okay, the next question is back here on your right. I love the movie. This isn't a question, it's a comment. Not only did I love the art, but I love the music in the film. I thought you did a wonderful job. <laughs> That's uh, much of the credit for that goes to our editor, who's also a bit of a musicologist, has a number of films under her belt that, that have focused on um, American roots music and all different kinds of music. Thank you. I really didn't hear the last part of your um Well, um, there's, there's, there's been good and bad in that because um, now, uh, because I am trying to um, bring people together, both black, white, Asian, and other, um, that I decided that I wanted to go and add both in my representation of art because that's what's happening in my life at this point now. I have friends of like I said, many nationalities, and I would like to go and encourage that not only with white people being friends with black people, but also with black people actually reaching out to white people. Um, and so as a leader and as an activist, I just feel like strength is, is with all people, you know, of all nationality, if we have the same values. So. I think that I will be going that way in the future. In fact, I'm getting ready to do a mural in Berkeley next year. And the, the, the community was all black when I moved here. Beautiful, beautiful community in South Where the Berkeley. mural is. Uh, where the mural is, the music on our mind. Oh yeah, it's close to the mural, where the mural is, um, music on my line. And it's been gentrified at this point now. It used to be um, 47, present blacks in Berkeley now is only eight. And so it's been dramatically reduced. And so I 
I didn't start the group, but I am very involved in the group. It's called Friends of Adeline. And what we're trying to do is raise money to do a mural about the past and the future because the Japanese used to live there first. And then they had their thing going on where they were taken away. And then the African Americans came in and now they had a place to go and it was the only place in Berkeley that they could live. And now it's been taken away from them. So what I'm trying to do at this point now is to bring strength to that community through a mural and through talking about saving the rest of the African American people who are in that area and working with people who are being evicted and um, we're just doing it. We are making a big difference in that, in that a neighborhood by meeting once a month. Okay, your next question and or comment comes from back here in your, on your right. Hi, I, um, I'm so moved. Um, I came today because I know your work, Edie, and I know your heart, and they're both so beautiful, and I'm working on a really big project right now, and I just needed a break. <laughs> and I couldn't <laughs> think of a better um, place to be than, than looking at the beauty that is you and your art for two hours and not thinking about this major project. What I wasn't prepared for was your story. Uh, I'm so inspired that I moved to tears because you talked about not knowing you, what a mural was. You just saw a problem and you brought the people together to create a solution. And when I moved here and I saw the women's building, I was flabbergasted. I had never seen such power or felt that energy. And then today, now even this last question you answered, I hear such clarity and focus and purpose in your work. And I see the transformation you've brought into the world. And so I'm so inspired as a young black woman who has no idea what she's doing, but that um, I'm working to eliminate endometriosis and fibroids just because it needs to be done. And so to witness your journey has changed me forever. So thank you. Thank you, Mo. Um, I'm collaborating with a young Jewish woman who's full of fire and things that bring something different than I have to the table. So um, I just wanted to say thank you. This has been powerful. So well, thank you. And I hope you tell everyone about this documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Could I say something to that point? Yeah, thank you so much for your, for your um, sharing how that made you feel. It's very moving to us too. Um, I just, I think I just wanted to also totally recognize that beautiful first film we saw and that the theme to me today is just vision, people with vision, people with determination and creativity who don't give up, you know, who know what's right and don't give up and stay true to their vision. So I, I really applaud what you said and I totally agree. That's why I made a film about her. <laughs> and I'd like more people to see it and to, to know that they can do it too, especially young people. So we did just get a grant to bring the film into uh, schools, which I'm really excited about. And, um, and of course, we're trying to bring it to communities all over the country, and we're still in film festivals. So if anybody has any ideas or connections, people they'd like us to approach, um, speak to us after, or have my assistant, Kojin, in the back, who will have a mailing list, please sign up. Let us know that you'd like to talk to us. There's a few DVDs for sale, but um, basically we'd love to keep in touch and, and hear from you about how we can help others be inspired by this film. Thank you.
make it good. <laughs> I will. Um, it's so interesting that you asked that question because I, I went backwards and forwards whether I should bring Prince here today. And Mo and I spoke about it in the car on the way here, and I decided that it wasn't ethical to show, to, to sell Prince at a showing of the documentary because you paid to come in here to see the documentary and they're going to take money. This is what I was feeling. And I did it once before and I didn't feel comfortable. So I didn't bring any prints. But if you wanted to go and see some of my work, I would make arrangements for you to do that. And there is um, some of her work, the pieces that you see in the film are, pictures of them are in a gallery on my website, a new color documentary.com. And we have cards that we're going to send you out with for that website. So um, you can check it out. Um, I, you can contact me. I have the way to contact Edith. So did you bring your cards? No? no. OK. <laughs> Hi. I know your voice. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, it looks like uh, I'm getting a motion from off stage that it's about time for us to wind up. But I think we have a moment for anything else any of the three of you would like to add just in closing. Um, I just want to add that uh, if you are interested in um, finding out more about uh, work on police brutality, police abuses, um, we personally do work on school disproportionate school discipline that leads to the school to prison pipeline. Um, if you're interested in any of this work, um, my organization and many others are working on these issues and we put out newsletters featuring articles featuring what other organizations are doing um, so please join our newsletter um, stay informed about these issues the sf um, police chief they're doing a survey now um, of the community to find out what the community actually wants in a police chief so that's one easy way to get involved right now um, and make your voice heard about some of these issues that are very important in terms of bias, in terms of police brutality and police use of excessive force. So those are just some of the ways that you can take action right now um, to help move these issues forward. Good, and I want to again invite everyone to meet us all out in the lobby right afterwards um, to get a little closer. And please do take one of the handouts that, again, is two pages. I didn't see them circulate around here so that you can get them as you walk out. They're going to be at the table on the right-hand side, I believe. 
And there are numerous suggestions about how to get involved in website links and all that for several different organizations that um, I think have been being put up on the, the screen. So thank you all. Right, and of course we have another film coming up and a whole day of filmmaking, so stay with us.